A stone falls freely under gravity. It covers a distance h1, h2, h3 in first 5 seconds, next 5 seconds and next 5 seconds respectively. So let's say, consider this scenario. Let's say this is t is equal to 0. This is t is equal to 5 seconds. This is t is equal to next 5 means t is equal to 10. And this is t is equal to 15. In first 5 second, distance covered by the stone is equal to h1. Let's say this is h1. In next 5, it is covering a distance which is equal to h2. And in next 5, it is covering a distance which is equal to h3. The relation between h1, h2 and h3 is a stone fall freely under the gravity. Means initial velocity is given as 0. So see here, <coughs> in t first 5 second, that is, t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 5 second we can write here we can again achha, see in all the cases we can use equation s is equal to ut plus half a t square right now initial velocity is 0 so displacement is equal to 1 by 2 g t square right so yeah, in first case that is t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 5 second we can write displacement covered is h1 so h1 is equal to 1 by 2 g and into time time taken is 5 phi ka square phi ka square is 25 10 by 2 now this will be c this is 10 by 2 means 5 5 ka square 25 into 5 is 125 meter this is the value of h1 here now from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 10 second we can write total distance covered up to 10 seconds is h1 plus h2 so h1 plus h2 is equal to 1 by 2 time taken to cover h1 plus h2 is 10 so 10 square so this will be equal to g by 2 is 5 100 into 5 is 500 meter right now from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 15 seconds we can write h1 plus h2 plus h3 is equal to 1 by 2 into g into t t is a 15 15 ka square is 225 so 225 into 5 uh, 225 into 5 how much that is equal to 1125 meter right so we have three equations here h1 h1 plus h2 and h1 plus h2 plus h3 if we put this h1 here then we'll get 125 plus h2 is equal to 500 right so solving this we have h2 is equal to 500 minus 500 minus 125 that is equal to 375 meter this is the value of h2 now put h1 and h2 in this equation that is 125 plus acha from equation number 2 from this equation we have h1 plus h2 is equal to 500 so 500 plus h3 is equal to 1125 so h3 is equal to this is <coughs> 625 meter so we have h1 h2 and h3 if we combine all these equations see if we take ratio of h1 as to h2 as to h3 so it will look like 125 as to 375 as to how much 625 so if we divide this by 25 this will be 5 and 375 divided by 25 it will be 15 and 375 divided by 625 uh, 625 divided by 25 will be 25 so 5 as to 15 as to 25 okay, again we can divide this by 5 so this is 1 this is 3 this is 5 so h1 as to h2 as to h3 is equal to 1 as to 3 as to 5 so which one is correct uh, so see we can see here this h1 is equal to h2 by 3 and h3 by Five because the relation between h1 and h2 is h1 and h2 is equal to 1 by 3 so h1 can be written as h2 by 3 and relation between 
एच वन एंड एच फाइव इज एच वन बाई एच एच थ्री इज वन बाई फाइव तो एच वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज एच थ्री बाय फाइव सो वी हैव एच वन इज इक्वल टू एच टू बाई थ्री एंड एच थ्री बाय फाइव सो ऑप्शन सी इज अ करेक्ट वन राइट 